गुड मॉर्निंग डी स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज अ लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप एज अ करियर वाई ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप फॉर यू इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टेकिंग द रूट ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप बेनिफिट्स एन इंडिविजुअल द फर्स्ट एडवांटेज इज नर्स डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रिनोर स्किल्स एंड कैपेबिलिटीज ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स कल्टिवेट्स यूनिक स्किल्स एंड इनकरेज आउटसाइड द बॉक्स थिंकिंग moreover it creates opportunity instills confidence ensures social justice and stimulates the economy entrepreneurship education also provides with the skills and knowledge to come up with business ideas and develop own ventures it this includes learning about core business areas such as finance sales marketing management and accounting and developing broader ranging skills such as adaptability effective communication and confidence so when we choose uh, when we when we become an entrepreneur and when we choose the field of entrepreneurship so it's not about just learning a single skills you know single skills won't work work there because you need to have a knowledge of so many things uh, you know so that your business can run well and you can be aware of your uh you know uh, you are uh, you can be aware how your business is going well how is how your business is going and what are the things that you 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 have to implement what are the things that you have to remove from your business and all those things so this requires lot of you know abilities uh, uh, skills uh, skills to be an entrepreneur you have to be adaptable you should have effective communication confidence we talked about uh, talked about the qualities of entrepreneurs uh, before so first is nurtures development of entrepreneurial skills and capabilities second enables application of an entrepreneurial mindset the advantage of working towards developing an entrepreneurial mindset and learning entrepreneurial skills over more traditional subjects is that they are not necessary on relevant to becoming an entrepreneur the mindset and skills are relevant in any field and are be desirable attributes for being an employee as well in fact having an entrepreneurial mindset and a wide range of business relevant skills required acquired through studying entrepreneurship would make one an ideal candidate in most fields now if you have these entrepreneurial skills or mindset you will become more professional at your work even if you learn all those entrepreneurship skills entrepreneurial skills then it does not mean and then you do not want to be an entrepreneur that's okay you can use those abilities that you have learned on uh, you know while pursuing these entrepreneurship or while pursuing these courses may be used in other fields and when you use them on other fields you become more competent you become more professional in your work so they help this mindset entrepreneurial mindset help us helps us to you know grow even if you do not want to become if you do not want to choose entrepreneurship as your career you can use those skill in other other fields develops the ability to handle failure and ambiguity in the indian culture since childhood failure is looked upon as something intolerably bad however a critical part of learning is that entrepreneurial process is to learn from failure hence going through this through this process helps to learn from mistakes take failure positively and stay motivated to work towards achieving the goal similarly just like life is uncertain business is full of ambiguity while actually finding solutions to deal with ambiguity one develops certain traits such as risk management perseverance and persistence so when we choose you know entrepreneurship as a career so we we have to learn a lot from our mistakes you know uh, we discussed last time uh, when we talked about the myths of entrepreneurship that uh it's not like you learn everything before you start a business before you start a business you can learn so many things when you start, when you run a business it's it's good to be learning by doing so when and we talked about that in entrepreneurship is, is is about ups and downs so you will you will meet failures and success both you know uh, when you pursue this entrepreneurship 
and when we develop this i mean when we pursue this entrepreneurship as a as a career then we see that uh, there are failures and success so we will be able to handle our mistakes and failures we will be uh, able to handle the risks uh, we will learn lot of qualities we will adopt we will inculcate lot of qualities within us and we will become you know stronger as a human so that we can manage everything properly enhances critical thinking and problem solving abil ability the ability to think critically and solve problems is essential to succeed in the world of business the focus of learning is not on these aspects during our school years learning entrepreneurship exposes one to numerous opportunities that force one to think critically analyze all alternatives and consider possible solutions what do we do in school so we simply learn contents which are on the textbooks and those contents are being explained to us so we we simply learn subject knowledge and when it comes to deal with the real life so subject knowledge may not work in you know, that way subject knowledge may help you to get a particular job but when you are into the job when you are doing your work so you need you know other skills that can help you to uh to retain in your job or to do good in your job and when we talk about uh, entrepreneurship it is all about taking the responsibility of your business into your hands so uh, on your shoulder so the thing is that when you pursue these uh, you know these uh, uh, this entrepreneurship as your as your career then you have to be you know uh, a critical thinker you have to uh, you know uh, think very critically Uh, you know analytically to you know bring solutions to to let your business grow and all those things so it enhances your critical thinking and problem solving ability provide early exposure to the real world ultimately working professionally uh, in the real world requires requires one to collaborate think creatively uh, creatively and demonstrate proficiency in most cases real life exposure during educational years remains limited entrepreneurship practice at a, at an early age stage in one's career career encourages activities such as going out and interacting with customers creating tangible concepts and ideas preparing detailed documents working with investors etc which gives great exposure and knowledge about the trends and needs of the real world so when you are into these entrepreneurship practices so you become uh, more practical and you can learn to you can learn these skills you know to develop your personality because in school days you know you are not uh, very much exposed to these these things inspires to think about one's career differently many students do not even consider that they can try to work on business ideas take up entrepreneurial projects take the initiative to impact society etc thus they tend to develop a certain trail of thought about their career from graduating high school to college to looking for a job if entrepreneurship exposure is given at the first point when one starts thinking towards building a career it can help them to think of different career options and exploring what they are actually passionate about that is why we are studying these entrepreneurship skills the reason is because when you know about that there are options in your life uh, then becoming just uh, a doctor or an engineer or uh, or anything that you want to be uh, there are other options that you can uh, that you can opt for maybe uh, these options that you do not know about uh, be more exciting uh, more uh, fulfilling your your career goals leads to creating difference in society entrepreneurs not only economically economically impact society but they also work on identify the real needs of and problems of people and solving them solving them learning entrepreneurship encourages one to find problems that need to be solved invent a solution for the, for, for them and ultimately make the world a better place so as an entrepreneur you know that you are independent and you can work in your own ways so when you have that independence uh, 
to work you with your own ways you can do something very great for the society you can help people you know uh, to solve their problems so this leads to create difference in the society so these were the uh, you know some of the uh, what we call uh, advantages or what you can say that these are some of the uh, you know pros of uh, you know becoming an entrepreneur an entrepreneurship can be chosen as a as a as a can be chosen as a career option when you want to work independently and when you want to work with your own terms and conditions when you want to become your own boss when you want to uh, you know do something uh, for the society independently because when we talked about you know wage uh, wage employment we know that wage employment is about working for a company or for an organization so everything you do goes to that organization you are just you are just given salary but when you want to work independently then then things go differently so these were the some of the pros of uh, you know choosing entrepreneurship as a career so the uh, the chapter ends here now next chapter we'll discuss about some basic icit skills till then thank you so much